Good morning, modern steaders. Good morning, girls. We had a lot of modern steaders asking us in our last video of us putting the wiring harness in the tundra if it's worth going through all the hassle of installing the plow onto our new pickup truck instead of just using the little Kubota to plow our driveway with. But we live on about an eighth of a mile private road and what that means is it's unmaintained by the town so we have to plow it ourselves and that in, in the winter time we can get 20, 40 below zero and 12 plus inches of snow during one snowstorm. So to be able to have a nice heated cab to sit down in and plow our road with it is a lot nicer than using the tractor. So it's worth the hassle. So this is the view of our driveway and how much we have to plow. This morning I need to install the push frame to the undercarriage of the Toyota. Everybody was just asking Figaro, where have you been? There he is, hiding. But the push frame is going to make it so we can attach the plow to the truck. They've been missing you in the videos, Figaro. Where were you hiding yesterday, huh? Were you stuck in a tree? There's not much room under here, but I had to take off my skid plate. We won't be using that anymore. And I need to take off my two tow hooks. <laughs> the brackets don't quite fit the way they should. So There's a space here. And in order to get this to sit flush up against the bumper, I need to hone out these holes a little bit. I marked them. Now I don't know if we'll be able to show you it when we're doing it, but I hope we can. You gotta put bolts through some holes in your frames, and in order to fish them through, they give you this, I don't know, twisted up piece of metal wire that you can screw your bolts onto. Then you can feed it through your frame. This is kinda neat, so we gotta feed it through this front hole. All right, so you feed it through that front hole to get in the back hole. And then boom. So these are the side brackets. And the fit and finish on these could be a little bit nicer. The passenger side one you saw 
I had to oblong these holes to get everything to fit. Let me show you this driver's side one. All right, so for under the truck, and we're nice and tight here, which is what you want to be. This is where your tow hook goes, where it attaches right up here, where it's swinging by the bumper. You have a gap between your bolts and the bumper brackets. So you need to shim them out right there. So we were able to put a washer behind to fill the space and tighten it up. And that took care of it. We need to feed our bolt that's on a wire through this hole. Next I have to install my three nuts that are welded onto a plate of quarter inch steel up under my cross member and then install this bar. Right, now we got our back brace, we got to get our center piece in. I moved the truck over here to make sure we were 14 and a half inches from the center to flat ground, which we are. And that's how you figure out which hole pattern you're gonna use. So it's connected there to the brackets that we had to modify a little bit. And then that push bracket down here. So you're not just relying on your frame right here, you also got strength back this way. The truck side of the plow work is done. Next, we get to build our V plow. I'm looking forward to that. That should be fun. You ready to go trim some goat hoofs? Yeah. You think they're gonna like it? No. No? It looks like they're sleeping on the bunk bed you built them. Yeah. I think we're gonna wake them up. Okay, which one of you ladies? Wants to get your hoofs trimmed first. Buttercup. We got Blossom, Willow, and Buttercup. Um, well, Blossom's chewing her cud. And I think they were all sleeping. Lying down. Oh, Buttercup's chewing her cud too. Okay, come on, Willow. <laughs> this doesn't hurt the goats. It's just like cutting a our toenail. How'd you like your pedicure, Willow? Now it's one of the daughter's turns. Oh, who's gonna get in first? Who's gonna go in first? Who's coming in? Oh, okay. Buttercup. There you Blossom. go. Okay, Buttercup, your pedicure is over with. They said, you ain't got no food for us. Think the pigs will like them? Yeah.
Ready? You better not be all appled out. It's just the beginning of the apple season. You spoiled piggies. Find just the perfect apple. Yep. Aren't some, aren't some of these apple trees? These are What are you thinking, Moose? I'm thinking Olivia's got some eggs to collect. Yeah. Is it getting heavy? Yeah. Goat's got the pedicures. We got our eggs. We're going to go inside and cook dinner. And this is where we're going to end today's video. And we'll see you guys right back here in the next one at Mama Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye.